Hello. For a long time, you will not surprise anyone with the presence of a wardrobe with sliding doors. When organizing home storage systems, the design of sliding doors, of this type, is very, very popular. In the realities of the modern construction market, making the cabinet itself walls and shelves is quite simple. Many stores have all kinds of fittings and ready-made laminated chipboard panels of various textures and sizes. And in some stores, a large sheet of chipboard will even be sawn for you according to your drawings. It is also possible to make doors from an aluminum profile for a cabinet at home. The main thing is to calculate them correctly, take into account the internal filling of the cabinet, pantographs, drawers and compartments. And of course, to make doors, you need to have the necessary set of tools and also have the skills to work with this tool. Filling doors, or as it is also called, inserts, can be ordered in size in a glass workshop, if it is glass or mirror, and if it is MDF or other material, then you can safely cut it yourself. Making doors with your own hands allows you to significantly save money, since manufacturers lay a decent percentage of the price of the material precisely for the work done. Friends, do not forget to support my channel, put your likes, subscribe. And now, let's finally move on to the very process of making doors from an aluminum frame profile for a wardrobe. Let's figure out what is needed to make sliding doors. The first thing you need is to know the exact dimensions of the cabinet, or rather the vertical and horizontal size of the opening, which is measured from the inner walls of the cabinet, as well as determine the number of doors themselves. Based on these data, the height of the side profile door handles and the width of the horizontal inner profile are calculated. To keep the doors in the cabinet opening, and smooth movement, you will need guide rails, upper and lower. The door consists of different types of profiles, there is an upper horizontal profile, it is narrower. The bottom profile is the widest, rollers are inserted into it. Side vertical profile, it is also a handle, has a large number of varieties. You will also need rollers, upper and lower. The upper rollers are of two types, symmetrical and asymmetrical. What kind of roller is needed depends on the type of vertical profile of the door handle. For example, here is such a handle, it is symmetrical, respectively, a symmetrical roller is suitable for it, that is, without displacement. But such a handle is asymmetric, and for a door with such a handle, a corresponding upper roller is required, the wheels of which have an offset, that is, asymmetry. The door can be divided into segments, and then a separator is required for filling. To connect the aluminum profile with a mirror or glass, a silicone seal is required. For handles so that the doors do not hit each other, it is advisable to glue a special buffer strip tape along the entire height. A necessary tool. For cutting aluminum profiles, it is advisable to use a fine-toothed miter saw for aluminum. It is, of course, possible to cut in other ways, but here high professionalism is required in the accuracy and quality of the cut, since for a horizontal profile the end cut must be at 90 degrees in all planes, which, in principle, is not critical for the ends of the vertical profile handle, since the ends of the vertical profile are not adjacent to anything. You will also need Roulette Angle Caliper And Pencil Electric Drill Drills for metal, 3 mm, 5.5 mm and 10 mm. Imbus key. Conical countersink. Top and bottom guide rails for doors. To place the doors in the cabinet space, it is necessary to provide space for the upper and lower guides that will ensure the horizontal movement of the doors. The length of the rails is equal to the width of the cabinet opening. Holes must be made in the guides to secure them. In the upper guide, we make two holes parallel to each other, located in the center of each wave. We fix the upper guide, using self-tapping screws, to the top of the cabinet flush. In the case of direct attachment to the ceiling, holes for dowels are marked and drilled in advance. When installing the bottom rail, you need to consider the type of vertical profile of your handle, symmetrical or asymmetrical. 
With an asymmetrical profile of the handles, the location of the lower guide is done with an offset to the depth of the cabinet by 18 mm and with symmetrical handles by 9 mm. The holes in the lower guide are best done for a self-tapping screw with a countersunk head, for which it is necessary to make a countersink under the head of the screws, the step between the holes is arbitrary. Also, when installing the lower guide rail, do not forget to install the door stoppers in it in advance. Making a door from an aluminum profile. Preparation of frame aluminum profile. The first thing is to cut off pieces of the required length of the vertical and horizontal profile according to the dimensions of the door. To connect with horizontal profiles, in a vertical profile, a handle, we make three holes. One hole in the upper part with an offset from the end of 8 mm. And two holes in the lower part, with an indent from the end of 11 mm and 43 mm. First, we drill all the holes through with a 3 mm drill. After that, we drill the same holes through with a 5.5 mm drill. Next, outside holes only, we drill with a 10 mm drill. Assembling the wardrobe door. After manufacturing the parts of the frame door body, and inserts, in my case, glass and mirror, you can start assembling the door. Silicone glass seal. In the case of glass, it is necessary, along the entire perimeter of the glass, to put on a silicone seal. It is most convenient to do this when the glass is placed on the edge. Do not forget to lay something soft under the edge of the glass, in my case, an old coverlet was used. Join the seal at the corners, preferably at 45 degrees, using scissors. When working with glass or a mirror, be careful and take care of your hands, you need to work with gloves to protect a person from sharp pieces when glass or a mirror is broken during further use, use special protective films for mirrors. The assembly, ideally on a large table, but in the absence of such, I had to sit on the floor, prudently spreading everything under the door, too, an old bedspread. We connect the upper and lower horizontal profiles with glass. In a situation where the door consists of several panes with dividers, the horizontal profiles and panes are connected in order, for this it is desirable that the top or bottom of the door rests against something. It is more convenient to insert the filling into the vertical profile when the door is placed on the edge, putting it on along its entire length and tapping it from above with a hand or a mallet. For a tight fit of the profile, you can use a rubber mallet, but you should always remember that the work is carried out with glass and an incorrectly calculated blow can turn into a trip to the glazier. Putting the side profile, as well as the upper and lower profiles on the glass, we check the alignment of the holes with the inlet slots for the screws, install the upper and lower rollers, after which the parts are fastened with screws. Further, very carefully, so that the glass does not fall out, the door is rearranged to another edge, and the procedure for installing the second vertical profile is repeated. Installing and adjusting the door. After assembly, the doors are installed in the cabinet. At an angle, the door is wound into the upper rail, then leveled and inserted by the lower rollers into the groove of the lower rail. Having installed all the doors in the cabinet, it is necessary to adjust them, for which the door is installed in its place, moves tightly to one of the side walls of the cabinet. Using an imbus wrench, alternately turning the adjusting screw of the left and right roller of the door, we adjust its position so that the vertical gap between the door and the cabinet wall is the same at the top and bottom. Also, we take into account the gap under the door, it should be approximately the same for all doors. After adjustment, a buffer tape is glued to the end of the doors, on the vertical profile of the handle. Well, that's all, the doors are ready, now the cabinet can be loaded with things, everything will be reliably hidden from dust and prying eyes. Do not forget to put your likes and subscribe to my channel, good luck to everyone and see you soon.